Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer. Welcome to Practical Astrology. And we are continuing our discussion of when the Sun and Venus and now Mercury are in Gemini. And I, I have to laugh because Mercury rules Gemini. And there is no greater communicator than Gemini. Um, I, I always seem to be the one who calls all of my girlfriends to get together for breakfast and, and be sure and so, you know, distance and wear a mask. But um, Gemini is the one that says, I'll orchestrate it, I'll call everybody, I'll tell them what time to be there, um, and I'll let you know how many, and I'll call the restaurant and tell them we're walking in, uh, you know, at a certain time so they'll have the table ready for us because this is what Gemini does naturally. We are communicators. We write books. We do blogs. We do all kind of stuff. Well, Mercury, the ruler of Gemini, is even stronger in Gemini. Um, I remember I did a chart on a relative many years ago, and she wasn't sure of her birth time. And so she went to an astrologer. I didn't do it myself because I was too close to her, and I, I wanted to make sure it was accurate and that it was done objectively. Found out she had Mercury in Gemini. I thought, well, that explains everything because whenever you're with her, she's talking and sharing tidbits about the family, you know, little snippets of news and changing subjects. Uh, I, I'm talking about my mother is what I'm talking about. And I thought, okay, please, God, remind me to let the other person speak because when uh, two Geminis get together, it's just fabulous. It's just terrific. They rev each other up. The communication level increases, and if they're at the same vibrational frequency, it's heaven on earth. It truly is. So, when Mercury joins the Sun and Venus, there's a lot of talk going on um, a lot of communication going on, and Gemini is thinking about what they're going to say next and what they're going to do next. They are the natural communicators of the Zodiac, um, and I really think with social media being what it is, I have never taken a poll, but I'd be willing to bet that the people who are most active on social media uh, have a lot of Gemini in their chart. Now, Mercury will be in Gemini from May 21st to June 21st. Probably a little less time if it's not retrograde, because Mercury rules uh, moves quickly, and it moves faster than the Sun. And Venus moves quickly, and it moves faster than the Sun. So you gotta catch them <laughs> while they're there. But you've got this triumvirate this three-member team that is so great that you see your true Gemini self during May 21st to June 21st, and that's just how it is. So that's the time for you to travel. That's the time to write your blog, to communicate with friends. Um, possibly get in touch with friends you haven't seen in a long while. This is a terrific time for that. And because love is involved during this time, Venus is in Gemini, people are so happy to hear from you, and you are so happy to connect with them. It, it's almost as if you're a natural social chairman at that point in time. And because the sun is in Gemini at this time, you're more self-confident. Um, I, I, 
uh, when I was teaching high school many years ago, I remember one of the students uh, said something to another student. I, I, I don't. It doesn't matter what was said, and the person to whom the remark was made took offense. And the Gemini said, "Well, if you can't take a joke, too bad." <clears throat> and he really meant it. If he can't take a joke, well, hey, it is what it is. Gemini keeps it light, uh, loves humor. Now that doesn't mean that Gemini is incapable of deep thinking. Gemini is very capable of that. They just, to get away from it all, they love light, funny movies. After you've been doing engineering work or deep astrology work, you want to just go to the movies and see a comedy. That's just how it is. Now there's one other time that Gemini is at their best. <clears throat> and if you've been watching these segments I've been doing lately, you know what that is. It's the full moon. Because on the full moon, everything comes to a head. And any projects, any communication you've been waiting for come to a head. Now, with Aries, it's impatient. It happens quick. With Taurus, it can deal with money. It can deal with pleasure, with possessions. With Gemini, it's probably linked to an idea or a belief system, um, a cause, perhaps, that they can talk about. Can you imagine a Gemini birthday party? <laughs> now, the Geminis would love it, of course. If you have friends, <clears throat> a bunch of friends, who were born under the same sign, just for laughs, plan a group birthday party. Aries would want it to be over quickly so that they could move on to the next party. Taurus would say, let's have dessert because I want sugar and I want to make sure that we have sweet, sweetness and light. Because remember, if it's during the, uh, the time that the Sun and Venus and Mercury are in their sign, they're having a marvelous time. So till we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.